Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprints Advanced Tutorial Series. In today's video we are going to be familiarizing ourselves with the Blueprint interface inside of Unreal Engine 4, getting us ready to start working with scripts inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now once we've done this, we are going to be ready to follow through the series, but what I'm not going to be doing in today's video is teaching you the language and everything as far as how it works. That is something that is going to take an entire series rather than just one video as there is lots to it. It is a programming language just like other languages like C++ and C Sharp. It is object oriented and you have got lots of terminology, lots of techniques and a lot to learn and you will learn that over the next series or this series rather. So, like I said, it's a language just like any other, besides it being, you know, visual scripting. So, having said that, we need a interface that we can work with, we need a development environment. And with Unreal Engine 4, that is all included straight out of the box. So, with this, what we can do is we can make these blueprints inside of either our level blueprint, or inside of a blueprint class. Now I'm going to quickly take a moment to explain the difference between the two of these and then from there we're going to be going over the interface getting us ready to write some blueprints. Now blueprint classes and a level blueprint are both going to be using blueprints. The code is going to be the exact same thing. Now the only difference is you have a slight different purpose for both of these. Now for getting to them you just go to blueprints and then from there you can either open a blueprint class you've got already or open the level blueprint. So I'm going to start off with the level blueprint. So if we open this up, it's going to take you to something that looks a bit like this. In the middle, you have got your event graph and inside of here you can write your code. However, with this being the level blueprint, it is only going to allow you to reference and work with um, objects which are within your level and anything you put in this level blueprint will not go over to any other levels that you create. And that's where the blueprint classes come in. The blueprint classes, like the one that I've already created here, and if I open the full editor, it's something that I can place into any level that I want, something that you're going to be reusing quite a lot. So that would be things like characters, weapons, pickups, and all of that kind of stuff, things that you want to go into more than one level. Now, like I said earlier, programming in both of these is going to be exactly the same. So hopefully you guys understand this a little bit better. If you don't, it's not an issue. We will be covering it as we get into the code later on in the series. So what I'm going to do then is open up my level blueprint and I'm just going to quickly explain the interface and you will notice the similarities between the blueprint class interface and the level blueprint interface. They are pretty much exactly the same. So the main thing that we have is our event graph. Our event graph is essentially our window into the blueprint code inside of Unreal Engine 4. Inside of here you are going to be able to add all of the different blueprint nodes and that's going to be everything ranging from functions, events, uh, variables and all of your objects and that good stuff and all of this will be done inside of here. Now inside of here I can right click and type in all kinds of different things, it's entirely up to you. Now we have got thousands and thousands of different nodes and these are all going to be used for different things and you're going to learn the main ones as we go on through the series. Now I'm not going to bother showing you how to use those just yet just because it's not quite important. Moving on, above the event graph, we have sort of some of our main functions that we're going to be working with. Compiling is going to be compiling our code, save, browse, find, class defaults, class uh, settings, and play. This is just going to be some of the stuff we do quite regularly. Every time you make a change to your code, you're going to want to compile it. If it works, you're going to want to save it. And then you can also browse to different assets and stuff, but you will find yourself using those as you go on into writing your first blueprint scripts. Now moving on from here, we have got the details panel. 
Now by default, this might be completely blank until you choose class settings or class defaults and from there, you can just change some of the different settings within that. So the details panel is gonna have a slightly different purpose for blueprint classes, but we'll show you that in just a moment. Moving on from here on the left hand side, we have our events, which are gonna be part of our graph. We have our functions and from here, you can add a new function by pressing the little plus icon. Same goes for macros, variables and event dispatches. Now these two here are probably gonna be the main ones that you're gonna be using and that is functions and variables. Variables are data and function. Uh, functions is essentially your code, but we'll be going into that in a little bit more detail later on. So moving on from here, what I'm gonna do now is close this, and instead I am going to open up a blueprint class. Now for creating a blueprint class, if you haven't got one already, you just go into your content browser at the bottom, right click, and then just hit blueprint class. And then from here, it's gonna give you a list of common classes. Now, an actor is probably going to be the most common type that we're gonna use, so I'm just gonna press this. And I'm gonna give this the name test class. And if I open this up, it's gonna take you into the viewport. And this is the difference between a level blueprint and a blueprint class. You can add different components into this blueprint. So if I wanted to, I could add things like a static mesh. And then in the details panel, I could change that static mesh to anything I like, like, um, you know, some stairs or whatever you need to do. And then from there, I can go into my event graph and then use this static mesh, get a reference to it and start writing some code that is going to change it. But you'll see us do that in a little bit more detail as we get into the series. On the left hand side, all of the stuff down here is gonna be the same. We still have our graphs, functions, macros, variables, and event dispatches. But at the top here, we have a components panel. And in this components panel, we can select the different objects within our blueprint class so we don't actually have to go into the viewport and select them that way. Anyway guys, what I want you to do is just have a quick look around these two interfaces for both the level blueprint and also for the blueprint classes. And in the next video, we will get into working with some of the programming terminology getting us ready to write some scripts. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.